hey guys welcome back in this video we are going to see how to fetch the featured products in our laravel e-commerce so i'll just show you in this we had uh, previously we had set this navbar and the slider so here we are going to display the featured products of our e-commerce so i have added few products so let us get starting with the coding part so in this we had just made this controller go to the front end controller app HTTP controller front end yeah so here we have just returned this view front end of index so here we have included the slider so this welcome right you can see it over here this welcome thing we want to uh, display the featured products over here so I'll just so let us write the code for that remove this and say dot py5 container row call md3 and here let's say card and the image tag over here and after that we have the card body over here and here the product name will be in h5 tag let me say demo prod and here let us say product image save let us check the output go and refresh so you can see it has come over here so now let us write the code to fetch the data so here let's create a variable called dollar product products or let us make it featured products equal to product model where so over that featured column we have to give over here so let us go to the model and check set model product so we have given here right trending just copy that close the model so where trending is equal to one and here say get so this will get all the featured products to us so let us just take 15 products here say take 15 because if we have given many products under trending this section will be filled with all the products so we have filtered the product the trending products now let us just pass this variable in the compact function compact and within single quotes just copy this and paste it over here okay so now let us go to this index page and here we need to use the for each loop to iterate over this column md3 let me show you for each and paste the variable as dollar item or you can make it dollar prod paste here so here we need the image right so let us say double curly braces and asset function and inside the asset function we need to give the path so you can go inside your public directory and check here it's in assets images or it's in uploads right yeah here so say assets slash uploads slash product is it products yeah products slash your product name so just copy this and concatenate over here so put dot and paste it product of image okay save and here we need to display the product name so within double curly braces just paste it dollar prod of name save and the price so let me give a p tag over here or instead of p tag let us give a small tag and paste the product price a product of selling price save and now let us just check the output go and refresh and you can see here we have got the three products over here so let us just update this I will just update few other products in the trending section so I'll just log into my admin panel here say login or you can directly go it from here itself I've added it in the navbar login say 
login go to my products and just edit them all in the trending section update okay so let me give her here yeah so you can see here we got five products over here so just give over here in the card md3 right you can give margin top three or two you will get the space over here yeah so but we are going to add the owl carousel in this so we are going to make it movable just like this slider so how to do that let us see how to integrate the owl carousel so let us search for owl carousel hit enter just click on this first link you have this download so before that let us just see the docs you can see here you have such files so you just need the owl carousel min js and the css file you can see installation just you need to import the default default min.cs and carousel min and the js file and one jquery you require to run this file so and you can see the example in the demos so go for a basic one and you can see this is moving right so we are going to add this feature in our website so let us just download it I'll go to home and click on download so it is downloaded let me say show in folder let me just open it here file explorer go to downloads let us just extract it over here extract here inside this disk you can see you have your js files over here and inside assets you have the css so let us take this minified version so min and this one theme dot default dot min so let us just copy this to inside your eshop go to public front end CSS and paste okay and now for the JS let us go here go back and just copy this JS file the minified version copy and in our front end JS just paste it paste so we needed the jQuery also right for that so let us just go and get the jQuery you can say here jQuery CDN link can here and let us take the minified version of this just copy this link and get the code from here itself just copy this name and create a file inside your code and inside your editor just create a new file and paste this oops I copy the slash remove hit enter and control a and copy here just paste it paste and close the file so let us link this css and js in our index layout so go to your front layout let us just import that i'll just copy and paste this paste twice because we have two css files right so just remove this say public front end CSS right click on that and say rename control A and copy that file and paste it over here oops just CSS save and the same thing we are going to do it over here rename control A copy and paste it over here save okay so for the js so make sure you are importing the jquery at the top so the jquery will always be at the top of the page okay so close this css go to js jquery control a and copy 
and just paste it over here inside the JS. So next we need to import the Owl Carousels JS. This one. So right click on that. Say rename, control A, copy, paste, save. So we have included the CSS and JS. So now we'll just call the code for that. So go to your browser, close this. Inside the demos, for this basic thing, you can go and you can see there is a code over here. Just copy this code, copy, and here we need to call the section section of scripts so this is nothing but the I'll just show you inside our front end layout which he created we have given here scripts right here it is so we are calling this so whatever script we write over there it will be pasted over here so make sure it is scripts and yeah the same thing should be called over here inside this just open a script tag and paste the code which you copied from the website. Save. Let us change the class name. So instead of all carousel, let me say featured products carousel. So I'll say featured featured carousel. Yeah, that will be good. Save and get back to the website. So here you can see you have HTML code over here. So just copy that. Copy. Go to your code and above your for each loop just paste this so this item is there right this will be the elements which we are showing so we are getting that through the for each loop so we'll just remove all the things and leave one over there and just control x paste this item is there right so inside this we require that or you can just remove this thing and call this class inside our the for each loop just paste it okay and remove this thing let us align it a little bit and save so this class name we changed right copy that and paste it in this paste save and let us check the output so go to here and refresh So you can see we ha it is a carousel but you have seen five products here right so i just want to show three or four products at one time let us change that in the js we have written so this is the screen size for the laptop so i'm just going to make it three save and let us refresh and check so the owl carousel is integrated successfully and we have got the navigation icons over here and the dots so we just require one thing over here we'll just remove these dots so go to the code and here add dots dots and say false oops f a l s e false save and refresh so you can see the dots has been disappeared from here so let me just make this to four as it's too big yeah save and refresh so you have got this and let me just add a heading so it will be clear here after this row I'm going to say h2 say if we you already featured products save and for this thing I just wanted one more thing instead of small I'm going to keep it span and say class load start and this will be the original price say class float end and this will be uh, inside a yes tag that is a strike tag paste save let us check the outputs refresh and yeah so that's it in this video guys we have seen how to integrate the owl carousel in our website and fetch the featured products so in the next video we will see how to open this product view so when we click this we have to be able to see the product description and the other details of the product so thank you for watching this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you once again